What's going on? Welcome to Asian Cosell. And if you guys can give me the HKO special help to king out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Now, we're going to go and talk about uh, Jason Aldean since everyone else has been talking. I've just been kind of waiting. So, we're going to see the view. So, what is the view going to say? So, the view host slammed Jason Aldean's controversial, deplorable new music. Video. You've gone too far. Yes, the view. So, yep. So the ladies of you aren't grooving to Jason Aldean's controversial new video, which has been widely criticized for allegedly perpetrating mythical racism. So there you go, Whippy Goldberg. Yep, showing uh, Thursday show by chastising the country star for footage of protests in this video. Try that in a small town, which incited backlash. And Judah posed the lyrics like, got a gun that my granddad gave me. Then one day they're going to round up. Well, good luck. Yep, try that in a small town. So Goldberg, yep, ta he talks about life in a small town. And those images. Oh, he got black folks from the Black Lives Movement. And he's talking about people taking care of each other. So I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason, to the writers, that that's what the folks were doing. They're taking care of their people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. And then she added, oh, just like you talk about people taking care of each other in the small towns, we do this in big towns? We really do? Okay. You just have to realize when you make it, about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, you're talking about black people? No. What are you talking about here? So, yep. So the conservative co-host, uh, Alyssa Farrah Griffin, said she's willing to give L. Dean the benefit of the doubt that his intent wasn't to sto stroke division, glorify violence, or racism. But he... Almond Albury, a black man in a small town, that got shot for doing nothing wrong, but but Joy Behar Sunny hosts and however weren't as forgiving. That song is deplorable and annoying. And hosts and strut that she wouldn't give L Dean any leadway, which is such sensitive material. And you know what was evolved for me was those sundown areas of legal expert pointing to the mother in the studio's audience. So my mother and father, because they were an interracial couple, were run out of South Carolina by the KKK. My father is still scared from that experience. So don't tell me that was not, he was aware of what he's doing by using that imagery. But he embraces that imagery. Unfortunately, that song has become number one on iTunes and we have a problem with this country. Miss Racy, all right. So, yep, Hosen added this segment response from Mel Dean, citing a tweet, wrote amid the blowback, which includes CMT, and, you know, that's going to be, you know, maybe we might boycott that. In the past 24 hours, I've been accused of releasing pro-lynching song since the song came out in May. So, yep. So, yep, the Tuesday calling the claims meritless, dangerous, saying the track doesn't contain a single lyric. Referencing race, but does include the real footage and runtime. So uh, I try to respect letters to have their own interpretation of the song. This one's going too far, but it does go too far. Goldberg replied after hosts and read tweets, you've gone too far. Yeah, but these, uh, the host, they're a bunch of idiots, man. So yeah, I'm just kind of like, can't even watch the show, can't even listen to these women talk you know that's the thing it, it it's uh it just drives me nuts watching the show so that's you know where we stand with this so yep you know hey so enough is enough so yeah so the song's number one hey and you know i understand uh living in a small town we do take care of our own so that's where we're at all right, everyone, if you enjoyed any of this content, please hit the like, subscribe, and comment, and I will definitely see you in my next video.